What's up? How's it going? You got anything? Uh, I've got some decent B-roll, but this is a disaster. Well, it's supposed to be a disaster film. Well, I might have to be the DP, because Andrew's wife's having a baby. I definitely don't have time to write a script. I can't do any character development. Oh, I thought I'd mention, I don't have any budget for special effects for a disaster movie. It's gotta be five minutes or less. Nobody expects character development. Nobody expects you to make a real disaster film. That's understood, so I don't know what your hang up is. No, you're right, I just don't want it to be lame, you know? <sighs> what do you got so far? Well, it's gotta have an ice cream cone. And it's gotta say, here we go again. I know, I know that. What have you got so far? Yeah, I, I was thinking about the ice cream cone. Yeah, it it falls. It slow motion, end over end. Some kid has dropped it. Fiona or Liam can cry. Yeah, that's not what I was thinking. But I do like the visuals. No, what I was thinking was the disaster is when the vegans take over and they ban cows. No cows, no ice cream. Oh, and I can have. Uh, Carolyn say some non sequitur like, uh, how now, brown cow? Though you play me in the film, and you have to call Carolyn and tell her we don't actually have a role for her. I play you? Look, we both know you're a better actor than I am, and your part's bigger than mine. So, when do we start this? We already have. This is a great idea, filming this scene in the basement. Well, I'll tell you what, <clears throat> it ain't much to look at but there's a lot of advantages to shooting in the basement. Number one, uh, you control your own lighting, you control your own sound, um, we can make our own special effects, and this is something I've come up with, you know, we're drinking sake for a very special reason. Okay. The Japanese, I dare say you know, are famous for their disaster movies, uh, Godzilla. So we're gonna have a little tribute to much of the disaster films of that era, having our very own sake, and toasting this most auspicious occasion. I'll tell you something else. You laugh at basements? That's okay. Irwin Allen, the master of disaster films, Poseidon Adventure, Towering Inferno, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, he used to shoot in his basement. People don't know that. I didn't uh, know that. Forgotten craft and folklore from the movie industry. Hey. Mm, good stuff. Mm, goes down mighty agreeably. So, tell me about the, this vegan idea. Let's flesh this out. Doctor! Doctor! Um, I don't want to offend the vegan community, obviously, because I support many of their goals and ideals. I've never seen anything quite like it. Notice the way it's fighting the others. They go on the methane ticket. They're anti-methane. That's their... That's how they get rid of the cows. <laughs> <laughs> completely foreign to any blood structure. <laughs> what is the nice car boiling you? <laughs> I am sort of car girl. <laughs> is, I think I'm car boys. It's uh, nothing to do with cars. Blue ribbon, pink ribbon. That's how you know. Boy, girl. <sighs> Feel that? Feel something? There it is. Oh. Whoa! I got the spins. Whoa! No, no! no. It's an earthquake! <laughs> it's an earthquake! It's a disaster! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Drew. You're not Drew? Okay, Sean. Okay, uh, what do you need? Wait, I'm not Carolyn. She's not here. Wait. Okay, I am Carolyn. Got it. Okay, uh, so what do you need? Well, Carolyn, Drew is super appreciative that you wanted to help out on this film. And uh, I mean, and I'm appreciative too, but you don't have a car and it's kind of hard to go back and forth. Um, we don't have a role for you. Wait, you don't have a part for me in it? Well, why are you calling me? Well, fine. I don't want to be in your stupid film anyway. How now, brown cow? 